The Ghost of Granby Street. This is a Victorian whodunit of Scooby-Doo level chaoticness. So grab your favorite pipe and a nice calming glass of absinthe because you're in for a treat. On the east coast of Virginia in the city of Norfolk, strange events took hold of the well-to-do residents of Granby Street. In October of 1845, a spirit made itself known amongst the high-class residents of the once prominent Granby Street. So this was a very respectable area of the old city, where rich and fashionable homes of the upper-class gentry once lined this long road. And actually, many of these old Victorian homes still line that street today, just not as fashionable. So one night, the genteel folks who lived along this road saw an apparition. And this apparition was dressed in old-fashioned clothing, so I can only fathom what stood for old-fashioned in Victorian days, because all of our ghosts are dressed in Victorian dress. So whatever a Victorian living soul would consider old-fashioned. But Norfolk was a colonial city founded in 1682. So there's at least a good 200 years of fashion choices that this lady apparition could have been wearing. Now this ghost lady was making appearances almost every night and terrifying everyone that lived on the street. And this ghost lady would wander about mumbling to herself incoherent things. And these strange mumbles were so otherworldly sounding that, that people were now really freaking out. She made people's skin crawl. And I love her for that. She's my hero. Soon, the ghost lady of Granby Street became a local attraction. It became a fun Victorian game to stay up past one's bedtime to catch a glimpse of the Granby Street ghost lady. Now, after many restless nights, the residents of Norfolk had had enough. So they took their concerns to the mayor. Mad. So mad they went to the mayor. Mayor W.D. Delaney in hopes of getting some sort of help with this spectral nonsense. All these lady spirits out here causing mischief at night. That's not respectable. Now, Mayor Delaney took this responsibility very seriously. He was very concerned about the mental well-being of the citizens of Granby Street, but probably mostly concerned that those people kept making their money considering they were the lifeblood of business and commerce in his city. And we wouldn't want those with the money and the votes to feel unsafe. So Mayor Delaney hires Elias Guy, who was the captain of the watch, to look into this apparitional annoyance. Now, Elias Guy was the first ever elected captain of the watch for the city of Norfolk. He was elected two years earlier in 1843. Guy was in charge of five other watchmen for the city, and each watchman would carry a rattle, a rattle, if they needed to call out for assistance. So Lies Guy and the watchman created a plan to capture this ghost lady. So at midnight on a Sunday, the spirit appeared on Granby Street, mumbling her strange ghostly mumbles that made your skin crawl. The watchmen begin to enclose around her, but when she noticed the trap, she ran from them. Clever girl. And she started running all through the richly gardens of the area. So Elias Guy started rattling his rattle so that all the citizens of Granby Street would wake up from his rattle and help to assist him in capturing the ghost lady. So the ghost lady ran behind the local stone cutter's house and hid behind some tombstones, probably to be aesthetically pleasing. And that's commitment. And that's where the ghost lady disrobed her old fashioned dress. And to the watchman's surprise, the ghost lady of Granby Street turned out to be a local boy from a well-to-do family. And this local boy was given no more than a slap on the hand for causing such a ruckus. It's good to know nothing's changed. Mystery solved. So dignified.